Welcome back to the Making the Madness YouTube channel. Sean here again today for video number two of the day. Obviously, we've been uh, pumping out a few a day. like to keep them three to five minutes so you guys don't have to take a ton of time out of your day. If you're at a break at work, you can take a quick uh, few minutes while you're on your break. Listen to a quick three to five minute video on a transfer. I think that, uh, you know, don't want to make them too long and don't want to make them too short. We want to inform you guys on what's happening in college basketball. We're several, several, several months away from the season actually tipping off. But we never, you know, the off season never ends. Like, uh, we're going to see a ton more transfers throughout the off season. We're going to see a lot more commitments throughout the off season. So we're going to be piling out these videos daily, multiple a day. So, uh, yeah, just continue checking them out. And this one is Wendell Green Jr., Eastern Kentucky transfer, transferring to Auburn to play for Bruce Pearl next season. That's a very big get for the Tigers because Green... He's similar to a guard they just lost, Sharif Cooper, in a lot of ways. They're both undersized guards with great passing vision. And the thing about Green, he's not as good of a driver yet. He has ways to go to get to the kind of effectiveness uh, Cooper was driving to the basket and playmaking as a whole. But Green's a significantly better shooter. He shot 36% from deep, and he's more of a versatile scoring option because he can shoot. Uh, Cooper really struggled shooting last season. I think Green, it, you know, he's 5'11". He's pretty quick. He has a really quick burst getting to the basket. He's a solid, he's definitely a pretty good passer. And that shooting, you know, 36% is pretty solid. It's not amazing, but it's certainly above average. And I think he's going to play a big role the next few seasons. I don't see him leaving for the NBA anytime soon because of his size. But I think that, you know, he could be an all-SEC guy. He can be an All-American. The talent is there. I mean, he was a baller last season for A.W. Hamilton uh, for Eastern Kentucky. He brought them pretty close to beating Moorhead State in the semifinals of the Ohio Valley Conference tournament before, you know, they lost to Moorhead and they were able to win the conference championship. But in his final five games... He dropped 22-plus in all of those games. He had 3-plus assists in all of them. He's a really good foul shooter, and he's really good at getting to the line. You know, he improved at the line a lot throughout the season. He struggled early, but he really got it going late. If he, you know, he's a guy that I think could be an All-American one day. I don't think he will be next year, just the way the roster is constructed. But Auburn's in for a big season because I like Green a lot. And they had Zeb Jasper a few weeks back from the College of Charleston. He's a guy that was an all-colonial uh, second teamer. He was an all-defensive team in the CAA. Really good score. He's similar to, to Green in a lot of ways. He's a much better defender, but he also has that quick burst. He's a good shooter. He can really fill it up, and he's a solid passer. There's a lot to like with both those options. I'm curious to see how they can play together, but uh, I, I like both additions quite a bit. You add that to what's coming back. You have Alan Flanagan. He could test the waters, but I think he'll ultimately return. He's a really good 3 and D kind of guy uh, for Bruce Pearl. You add a five-star in Jabari Smith. JT Thor is testing the waters. We'll see what he ultimately decides to do. And you also add, or you also return Dylan Cardwell, a seven-footer that's really talented. He's going to have a bright future for Auburn. I, you know, last year wasn't a great season for the Tigers. They self-imposed a ban. Sharif Cooper dealt with a lot of uh, eligibility concerns. He wasn't eligible until mid-January, if uh, I'm remembering that correctly. Justin Powell dealt with injuries. Just seemingly nothing could go right for Auburn last season, but they look to be on a much different trajectory right now. I had them as a top 10 team in my first rankings of the year, and I don't see why they you know, can't jump even more because uh, they also had Trey Alexander, top 100 guy. I, I just like this team so much right now. There's a ton of talent. They have a ton of athleticism. They can shoot. They can defend. This might be one of Bruce Pearl's best teams at, at Auburn. He's had some pretty good ones, obviously went to a Final Four, but this might be his best team in my opinion. This team could also get to a Final Four. If I had to guess the starting five right now, you know, you're probably going to have to find a way to play Zepp Jasper and Wendell Green together because of how good both of them are. So let's say Green starts at the one and Jasper at the two. At the three, you're looking at Alan Flanagan. And at the four, you probably have to go Jabari Smith because he's a five-star guy that's really talented. Or you can pivot and go JT Thor at the four. And you can go Smith at the five. 
or you can go Smith at the four and then go Cardwell at the five. But you know the the be having all that kind of different lineup combinations is an embarrassment of riches because this is a really good basketball team that's going to continue to make noise throughout the offseason. They could add more guys, and I think they're going to thrive this season. Thanks for checking the video out. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and have a good day.